Scenes of violence such as these led to the closure of a number of radio stations while others were given stern warnings. All but one of the closed radios, CBS, were opened. Now media house owners and managers in conjunction with the National Association of Broadcasters are seeking to avoid incidents like those of the September last year that can lead to a clash with the state. We need to sort of train them during this period so that during this election year, going on to next year, that people do not make the same mistakes and that they know the law, they know what is required and if possible, uh, they, they, they really come out to do a good presentation. The chairman of the National Association Broadcasters, Captain Francis Babu, says this training will continue even after the 2011 elections. And we are not going to stop now. This, it so happened that we are lucky. Uh, because of the elections, there are people willing to finance this training. But we have agreed with them that this should be a permanent feature. A representative of the Danish government that is sponsoring the training says it will help in deepening democracy with many media practitioners getting the necessary skills to help in providing information to enhance informed public debate. This training program will address some of those needs and improve a bit some of the skills uh, and in that way contribute to um, the media better, being able to better do its job in informing citizens in this country. NAB is an association of broadcast companies that seeks to protect and represent the interest of its members in a way that creates impact and relevance. Marisa Chol, NTV 11.